Hey there, Sam Visnick here, Release Muscle Therapy, and in today's video I'm going to review a new product which is a tool called the Monkey Mount. The Monkey Mount is a mount that will go into a door frame or on a squat rack and it will be able to hold your massage gun or your massage percussion tool for you while you can self-apply therapy. Obviously this is a game changer for a lot of people that want to be able to work on areas of the body they cannot reach or they want to be able to do so in a passive sense while they do movement. So I'm going to review this complete product in this video, so stay tuned. All right, so let's take a look at the setup briefly. So when you use the monkey mount, um, you're going to have to anchor it obviously into the doorway. You could also use a squat rack or something similar to that, uh, which should work pretty well. I believe that that will close enough. But um, the only challenge that I see with this is, is that you have to kind of do a little bit of measurement to find out at what level you're going to anchor the device based on the area that you're going to work on. So as you uh, latch this onto the doorway, all you have to do is just spin the knob here and it'll tighten up a good amount. You don't have to really crank that thing. I've uh, experimented with it a little bit. It just needs to be just slightly tightened on there. It holds really well. So as I mentioned, there are a lot of options here to be able to adjust the tool. We have this spin handle right here, which is just basically the compression aspect to get it mounted on the uh, door frame or on the squat rack. This section here, as you can tell, these two arms here give us a good amount of flexibility. If I loosen these guys up, then what it'll allow me to do is to angle the tool as needed. So as we mentioned, some tools are at a 90 degree angle. This one is not, it's a tighter angle. So in order to get it straight, it has to lay back a little bit more. And you can see how the tool will accommodate that. Okay, so if we wanna angle it down, then we can do that as well. So we have a lot of options in here. And of course the uh, attachment here. So all we have to do is spin these guys open here on the side, and then we can take the tool out and then change the width so it can accommodate a lot of different sizes. So it's a really, really easy to use tool. Sometimes it can be a little confusing when you open up the box and you see all of the uh, uh, components with it, but once you get it set up, it's really straightforward. And just getting it moving, you don't have to over tighten it too much and that way you don't damage your door frame. So we just have to unlock that and it'll come off quite easily. And then we can move it up or down the wall as we need to. And then we just spin it to lock it right back into place and Presto, we're ready to go again. So pretty easy application and usage. I did have some concerns though with a powerful percussion device. It was gonna be shaking the wall or it's gonna make a lot of noise in the building. And that doesn't seem to be the case. I have a really powerful percussion tool uh, that I've used and I, I tried with the monkey mount and it worked really, really well. So some of these smaller uh, percussion tools will work just great. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start the tool up here. So I'm just going to hit that dial and put it on fairly low. Now, as you can hear from here, you'll probably hear it a little bit in the background, but it's not too bad. Um, I probably need to tighten this up a little bit more. That'll soften up the sound. Um, but from here, it's pretty well anchored. Now, all I have to do is just basically turn around and lean up against this. Now, the one thing I'm going to say is that you might be tempted to use some of the percussion tools like for example that has a fork in it so that you can put it uh, put your spine between those two things i'm not going to recommend that um, because one of the things is is that as you turn around and you start to work on this it's kind of hard to tell where your spine is located and one of the things we don't want to do is to be using a percussion device right on the spinous processes right on the bones of the spine that could damage uh, cause a lot of problems so you don't want to do that so my recommendation is when you use the tool, you always work to one side of the spine or the other to be mind, uh, mindful of those bony landmarks that obviously we're aware of when somebody else is using the tool on you. So as I lean into that, I can work my way around side to side. Feels pretty good. Now, obviously I'm not gonna lean all my weight on this. That probably gonna put too much uh, pressure on the percussion tool, might break the tool. So I generally stand with my weight anchored over my feet and then just roll from side to side as I work on those different areas, okay? So again, pretty awesome. There's a lot of flexibility here to what I can do. Um, and of course, as I roll over bony areas, I can just soften it up by leaning my weight around it. 
So it is kind of interesting that this is unfamiliar to do on yourself because most of the time, you know, when you're working on the back, there's only so far you can get. So this solves a lot of that problem, okay? And the other thing is, is just management of uh, where you have the setting and how much tissue you can work on. So for me, a lot of times I found that as I was tinkering with this, I'd start on the spine and I'd work my way around and just kind of get as much tissue as I possibly could and then turn to the side, get the shoulders, get into the lats and even into the pecs here all on one station before I had to move this thing up and down. So I already can tell that I'm gonna have a little bit of a process for this that when I use the tool, I'm probably gonna stick a little piece of tape or something to mark the level and that way I can easily transition between height settings to treat as much tissue as I possibly can uh, without having to keep moving the thing around. So that'll keep um, time management uh, good and keep the, the time and use uh, efficient. Okay, so one of the great applications for the monkey mount is the ability to anchor that thing obviously on the wall to, to provide that novel sense of stimulation, that percussion, and be able to do movement while that is operating in the background. So what I mean by this is that a lot of times we're just doing things passively with therapy. You know, the percussion unit is just gliding on an area. It feels real good to get a massage, but that's uh, not the only application that we can use for these tools. So one of the things that I like to do is to apply the percussion therapy while movement is occurring. So in particular, if we were to talk about the hip, a lot of people need to get uh, stretch into the back side of the hip, what we call the posterior hip capsule around this area. So we might be able to do some kind of a hip pullback maneuver or sit back into the hip to get a stretch. Now when we do that, we can actually put ourselves into that position and then apply percussion. So we can get into that stretch, hold it while that is occurring, or we can do movement while the percussion is actually stimulating those tissues to provide a novel stimuli. Okay, so we would obviously turn on the tool. What I would do is I would get my hip into that position, appropriately place it into the area where it feels like we need the most work. In this area, I would say just above the trochanteric head up here. And then what I would do is I would sit back in and out of that hip as that percussion therapy was doing its magic. So that's one of my, my favorite applications for this. The same thing for the rotator cuff. Obviously, I would need to move this all the way up but I would put it on the infraspinatus, I would lean into it, and then I can move my arm into internal and external rotation or combo motions of shoulder flexion and internal rotation and so forth as the percussion was working on the tissues themselves. Another application that would be really good is to take this, obviously I'd have to scoot it down even further, but let's say that there was discomfort in the knees while squatting, we could put the percussion unit on the outside of the leg, the vastus lateralis quadricep muscle, IT band-ish region. And then what I would do is I would slightly lean into it to apply the percussion as I would do my squatting activity. So those are a lot of different kind of quick ways that you can apply um, percussion while doing movement. And the monkey mount obviously is a great way to do this because you don't need somebody to hold the tool for you or you don't need to hold the tool on yourself while you're trying to focus on various movements. So that is a great, great application for this tool. Okay, that pretty much sums up the review here of the monkey mount tool. Uh, in summary, I would say I think it's a great tool to have, especially if you're very responsive to percussion or vibration-based therapy. It works really well for you, gives you pain relief, increased range of motion, etc. cetera. Um, and of course, you need to be able to work on backsides of the body or apply it while doing movement. This is a no-brainer tool to have. It's a great complement to your percussion tool. Uh, so I give it a strong rating. I like it. Uh, I highly recommend it. If you're looking to grab one of these on your own, check out the link below this video. I've included a, either a coupon, if it's still live, or a live link to be able to get a little bit of a discount on the tool. So make sure you check that out. And any other questions, comments, feel free to put them below. I'm happy to answer them. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can see additional reviews on Into the Future. Thanks for watching.